The Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary event is right around the corner. And initially, before I was going to record this video, I was going to mention we shouldn't expect too much things. Where you'd expect announcements, obviously, and some other cool things coming out. But, in a recent interview that Nomura had with Fatsumi on Final Fantasy Origin, he does shine a little bit of light on what to expect in Kingdom Hearts. Now, this could be about the Kingdom Hearts, but it could also be about Final Fantasy Origin or more Final Fantasy as well. Hello, everyone. Kingdom Kid here with kind of like a prediction slash hopefulness of what we could expect from the Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary. Now, I'm going to mention all the things that I think was we would have seen beforehand, before this interview, and then I'm going to talk about uh, this quote that he did already. So, without further ado, let us begin. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, the 20th anniversary event is happening fairly, fairly soon. And with that, we have a lot of expectations. It's the 20th anniversary, and not only that, it is 13 days after the actual th uh, 20th anniversary of the series. So, of course, Nomura is crazy for doing something like that, especially with, you know, how 13 and 7 are synonymous with Kingdom Hearts. And the fans are just go crazy for it. Now... With this event, a lot of people expect, oh, maybe we'll get an announcement of either Kingdom Hearts 4, uh, a Varum Rex game, or some other game, or anything else. I have a feeling there could be a possibility of a Kingdom Hearts, another Kingdom Hearts mobile game. And I hope that it's not tied to any kind of big story uh, importance in it, kind of like how Union Cross and Dark Road have been. One can only hope that that will not be the case. Now, speaking of Dark Road, I have a feeling that we could see maybe kind of like a, get an update of Dark Road. We knew earlier in March, they or maybe February, I can't remember when exactly they said it, but they announced that they would have to delay the final update for Dark Road because it's much bigger than they thought it was going to be and much longer. So that's honestly exciting. So it would be interesting to see if they have quite a release window or maybe a release date for the final update for Dark Road, because it'd be great to see how that all wraps up. And they did show some small screens as well when they explained that. They showed the screen of Ericus and Xehanort fighting. They showed a screen of an old Master Xehanort in front of the magic mirror, it said like 64 years later or something like that. And then they also had a scene where the Master Masters was talking to Xehanort before he wore the black coat like we saw in Remind. Now, like I said, we could get another uh, mobile game, which if we do, great. Uh, I just hope, again, it's nothing tied to any story significance, kind of like Union Cross and Dark Road was, because that would be just kind of a pain, especially now that every game is now available on Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PC, uh, in terms of Epic, and the um, PlayStation. Except, I guess, Xbox didn't get Melody of Memories, or did they get Melody of Memories? I don't remember. Um, and the Switch versions of every single game besides Melody of Memories is not the greatest and their Steam, or not Steam, they are cloud versions, and that's not really good. So, maybe they'll do an update like, hey, we heard your complaints, and yes, we will be working on a uh, actual physical version of the Switch versions of those games. Because that'd be pretty cool. I do say so myself. Something I think could happen is they give us a... Uh, I don't want to say a port, but they give us like uh, maybe a free update for Kingdom Hearts 3 at least from P King from PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5 and from Xbox uh, Series X to or from Xbox One to Xbox Series X update. But that would be cr pretty cool if they did something like that because it, it'd be nice, you know, to get us some update graphics. And if it's cool, they'd be like, hey, here's a kind of like what they did with Final Fantasy 7 remake was. It's a free update, and then you get all the trophies to it as well. And I would love to do that. And it's like, hey, there we go. Easy platinum right there, because I've already got every single trophy for Kingdom Hearts 3, including the Remind DLC, so it'd be great. So I can definitely see them like that. I, I heard another rumor going around was a remake of Kingdom Hearts 1. I don't think we need a remake of Kingdom Hearts 1. Not only is it, not only is it still a good-ass game to play, but it's available on the PlayStation 4. It's available on everything. You can still play it. It's not needed for a remake. I, it's, we don't, they don't need to do what Naughty Dog is doing with The Last of Us 1. It does not need to be remade at all. 
Uh, now what I would think was, I would say we probably might get a little bit of a teaser trailer. Nothing too extravagant. It would be kind of similar to how they did the Kingdom Hearts 3 tr uh, announcement trailer, teaser trailer, in a way. Where they kind of like showed everything at first and then they went to Destiny Islands. They showed the Master Keeper Keyblade and Sora picking it up. And then they showed a little bit of uh, gameplay as well, which was very rough. And that's how they did with Kingdom Hearts 3 back in E3 2012. So I can definitely see them doing something like that as well with um, with a Kingdom Hearts 4 announcement and maybe something else. Now, let's get into that Fetsuma interview where Nomura was asked, and then here's the question. And then you went on to become a game creator who shed more light on FF1 many years after, as in talking about Final Fantasy Origin, which Final Fantasy or uh, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin is basically kind of like a retelling or of origin type thing of Final Fantasy 1. What do you have planned this year after Final Fantasy Origins? The Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary event is coming up too. Will this year be one filled with preparations? Nomura answers saying no. There's going to be both. We have new things we're working on, but also have things we are getting ready for release too. It's going to be a busy year, and next year looks to be about the same too. So, that could mean that we could see a Kingdom Hearts game come out later this year as this game prepared for release, and he could also talk about things to, that they're preparing for for next year as well. So this year and next year could be pretty big years for Kingdom Hearts, like I said, with the release of possibly i don't think it's going to be kingdom hearts 4 kingdom hearts 4 and if it is kingdom hearts 4 holy shit i cannot wait it's been what three years since kingdom hearts 3 it's definitely time for us to get a a new game as well and plus we had melody of memory so i'm just excited for this event uh to begin or you know i'm excited for this event i don't know if there's any live streams or anything but if there's any trailers or anything like that i will do a reaction to them as I see them. So as soon as like, oh shit, there's a trailer. Oh, I'm, I'm getting off. I'm gonna start recording a reaction type thing. Uh, it's happening. I believe it's er, uh, it's Saturday night for us, early Sunday morning. It's uh, I don't know. Time zones are weird for me, but I believe that's the case. It is early, uh, late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. And I believe it's like a roughly six-hour event that they're doing type thing. And I think anything that's like gets announced in terms of like trailers or anything like that will be out and of course there are people there in the community uh that are gonna tell us what's there and i'm sure they'll be like oh you know like hey don't talk about this yet we will release this as soon as you guys are done type seeing it who knows i'm excited it's going to be an exciting year for kingdom hearts uh fans all like and i i honestly cannot wait for what's to come in this event so what do you guys think is going to come out in this event let me know in the comments down below and what are you most excited for what do you think is the biggest thing that they could announce and what do you think is the most likely thing that will be announced especially now with that uh interview that just came out let me know all right guys thank you all so much for watching i'll see you guys with any reactions to whatever they show i'll see you guys in the next video